Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be doing a video on classifying triangles. So without further ado, let's head on straight into the video. So there are three kinds of triangles we'll be talking about in this video and I'm drawing them all here and I'll be teaching you all how to classify them and what different names are for each of these. So the one on the right has three different angles. The one in the middle has um, two of the same angles and one different angle. And the first one has all the same angles. So let's start with the first one that has all the same angles. Now, how do we classify this and what do we consider it as? So we consider this kind of triangle as an equilateral triangle. And this is because, as we can see from the word, the root equal, like the beginning, that is a root for equal and all three of these sides are equal so if you're having trouble remembering what an equilateral triangle are it is look at the first part of the word and think equal all three sides and angles are equal in measurement so it's classified as an equal equilateral triangle but it's also considered as a acute triangle and it's considered acute because all of the angles are acute, meaning it's an acute triangle. Now, these two triangles here are both isosceles triangles. So as you can see, two of the angles are the same, but one of them is different. This is what we call an isosceles triangle. And even though these two triangles look very different, they are still both isosceles because two of the angles are same and one of them is different. This also means that two of the sides are the same and um, one of them, only one of them is different. Even though they're both isosceles, this one on the right is obtuse and the one on the left is acute. So the reason why is the largest angle in the first one, well actually all of them, are acute. However, in the second one, the largest angle is obtuse, making it an obtuse triangle. So it's really important to look, even if two of the angles are acute, as long as one of them is obtuse, you classify as an obtuse triangle, and then the other one's acute because all the angles are acute. Now the last triangle I'll be discussing in this video is a this triangle called a scalene triangle. Now we've had one of the triangles where all of them are the same, all the angles, and one where two of them are the same. So this one, all three of them, so all the angles and sides are different. And as you can see here, it has one right angle and then two acute angles. And in this case, it is also called a right triangle because of that right angle. So like obtuse, as long as there's one right angle, it is classified as a right triangle. Now, with all that being said, you all are gonna classify three different triangles and you'll have 30 seconds for them. So the first one is this one right here, two of, and by the way, if you see two little loops or one little loop, that means it's the same. So if two of the angles have one loop, that means their measurement is the same. So keep that in mind when you're looking here. And the box mean it's, means it's a right, um, right angle. So you'll have 36 seconds to classify all of these. Did you do it? Let's check if you got the correct answers. So the first one, two of the angles are the same, which means it's isosceles. And when it's isosceles, well, at least here, it is acute because all the angles are less than 90 degrees. Now this one is scalene. 
and it is a right one. It's a right triangle because there's a right angle. And the last one's isosceles, but this time it's obtuse because the biggest angle is obtuse. Congrats, you made it to the end of this video. Whether it's you needed help with this concept, you wanted some extra practice, or I just wanted to review. I hope we learned something or got some extra practice in. It'd mean the world to me if you subscribed and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a brand new video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. It just tells me if I need to change anything. And if you have any suggestions for any of my future videos, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you all so much for watching.